when we were in high school, Coach Evans was our coach, and I always thought he did a great job of making sure that the best players that touched the ball that could give you a chance to score a touchdown got to touch the ball. You know, from a basketball standpoint, if you have a fantastic shooter, we got to make sure that he shoots the ball 25 times, so he can he can shoot 50 percent maybe, you know, and give us a chance to win. So the only thing I've asked our guys to do is what we've done for a number of years is <clears throat> list from one to eight, if you're that lucky, skill guys. If you had to say this is the guy I need to touch the ball the most to help us score touchdowns, who would that be? And then who's second, and who's third, and then who's fourth, and who's fifth, and all the way down. Now we've been lucky around here. Last year we had ten of those guys. You know that was a long list. We felt pretty good about seven and eight touching the ball, but it's really the first four or five guys, and that's the only thing I've asked the staff to do. Is it's just important that the guys that can actually make a play needs to touch the ball during the game. And at that position you're talking about, we've got a number of guys, and we're going to find out how good they are because they need to touch the ball. You would certainly hate, uh, I'm not going to try to compare him, which I think he's very comparable, but uh, the running back that was at Penn State last year, to come out of the game and only have six touches, you'd be like, hmm. The other team would be like, that's awesome. <laughs> um, we, used to, we used to have those issues with Dez because they, the way people played Dez, so we used to have schemes that, Sometimes we'd have to run him and, and hand the ball to him or flip it to him just so he could touch the ball. So that's kind of the concept that I would like these guys to use in the offensive room with um, the maturity and the um, talent that we have at that position. You know, four years.